Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Thursday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question, and it's this. Should we give of our finances to the Lord? Or is this just something that crooked preachers made up to get money out of people's pockets? <laughs> Well, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 says this, Honor the Lord with your substance. The word substance there means your wealth. And Psalm 96, verse 8 says this, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. Now, whenever Christians hear that, so many of them think that means sing to the Lord. You know, to give glory to Him means that you sing to Him. But let's read the rest of the verse. Bring an offering. And come into his courts. The word offering means bring a gift or bring a present. You know, if you and I are going to live by the Bible, and if we're going to live our lives according to the Word of God, then we're going to give of our finances to the Lord. And you know, there should be a willingness on our part that we're going to live our lives according to the Word of God, no matter what it says. You know, in my life, that, that's when my life changed forever. When I made the decision that I'm going to live my life by this book, no matter what it says. And friend, when I did that, God was able to do things in my life that he was never able to do before. So you and I, we need to be willing that we're to, to live our life according to the word of God. And we need to make a decision right now. You need to make that decision if you haven't. I'm going to live my life by this Bible, no matter what it says. And I know that when you do, God's going to do great things in your life. And one of those things that you'll find out that the Bible says is that you're supposed to give of your finances to the Lord. Well, why do we do that? Well, number one, the giving of your wealth reveals your heart. You know, in John 3, 16, it says this, For God so loved the world that He gave. And one of the greatest demonstrations of your love is your giving. And if you really do love God and you really do love His people then one of the main evidences of that will be that you give to it. And, and not, this, not just that you give your time or give your energy, but that you give your wealth. Remember the verse said, honor the Lord with your substance. Honor the Lord with your wealth. So see, where you give your wealth, where you invest your wealth, it reveals your priorities. It reveals what's important to you. And if God and His things truly are important to you, and if the preaching of his word and getting people helped and getting people saved, if that is truly important to you, then, then you will invest your wealth and your resources into it. So the first reason why we give is that it reveals our heart. The second reason why we give is because giving the giving of our wealth positions us for increase. You know, in Proverbs 3 verse 10 in the next verse, after it told you and I to honor the Lord with our substance, it says this, so shall your barns be filled with plenty. So you see the giving of your wealth positions you to be increased by God financially. And why does God want to increase you financially? Well, there's two reasons. Number one, because he loves you. First Timothy 6, 17 says that God richly gives us all things to enjoy. And God just wants to bless you because you'd enjoy it, number one. And number two, He wants to bless you so that He can flow through you and cause you to be a greater blessing to other people. But how are you going to increase financially if you don't honor the Lord with your substance? You see, those two go together. Honor the Lord with your substance. Honor the Lord with your wealth so that your barns will be filled with plenty. You see, nobody ever reaped a harvest without, without sowing a seed. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 said that if you want to reap bountifully, you got to sow bountifully. And friend, if you'll, if you'll give of your wealth, it'll position God, position you to have God increase you in your wealth and in your finances so that you can be a greater blessing to others. As we're closing the broadcast today, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, if you believe the Bible... And if you live according to it, then you're going to give of your finances to the Lord. Number two, the giving of your wealth reveals your heart. It reveals your priorities. And number three, the giving of your wealth positions you for increase. 
So friend, I want to encourage you today. If you're not giving of your finances right now to the Lord, seek the Lord about this. Be obedient to Him and let Him do some great and mighty things in your life. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today for your word. And we make that decision today. If we haven't made it already, we make it now. We're going to live our lives according to your word, no matter what it says. And therefore, we make a decision today to be people who give of our finances to you. And Father, we thank you that when we do, that you'll see our priorities, you'll see our heart, and that you'll increase us in our finances. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.